Hello Huntington Beach. I'm your city manager Al Zelenka and I'm thrilled to be able to share this episode of Flashback with you. In May 1975, the Huntington Beach Coordinating Council, Mayor Norma Gibbs, city leaders and more than 100 service groups put on the Main Street Festival as an experiment to see if folks would visit downtown. For 10 days, the first two blocks of Main Street were closed to try a new mall concept that envisioned outdoor dining, walkable businesses, and to assess downtown merchants to see if the city had a viable concept with the new model. At the time, Huntington Beach was emerging and trying to find its identity as a beach town. The following vid video is nearly 50 years old, but some of the same themes resonate today. While Main Street has evolved, it continues to grow. The city recently kicked off a listening dialogue called Downtown Dreaming as a chance to bring our downtown partners, community leaders, and businesses together to discuss our downtown story. We are Surf City, the Times Square of culture, and we have lots of stories to tell, and we're just getting started. Enjoy this episode of Flashback from 1975's Main Street Festival. Thank you. This is the official kickoff for the Huntington Beach Bicentennial Commission. Huntington Beach Bicentennial Commission is dedicated to getting as many people in the city of Huntington Beach involved in the biggest birthday party the United States of America has ever had. Welcome to the Bicentennial booth. Bicentennial? Huh? Say happy birthday. <laughs> Senator Dennis Carpenter. Senator Carpenter. Uh, 
I, I like that comment that uh, Huntington Beach uh, uh, floats, but it never sinks. It looks to me like today Huntington Beach is emerging as well. Mr. Smith, thank you for being with us. On behalf of the City Council, I'd like to thank all of you for participating in this All-City Festival. I'm grateful it isn't raining. I'm grateful for all those people who have put in so much time in planning and getting things ready for the past month. And yesterday when I was down here checking the palms, just didn't look like they do today. Welcome everybody. Enjoy yourself and the remainder of the festival. Councilman Alvin Cohen. Councilman Donald Tiffany. And our city administrator, David Rowland. All those people who have worked so diligently on this are backed up by the various and sundry department heads of our city administration. And it's our Huntington Beach City Festival. Again, beginning our Age of Discovery days. We hope that you have a wonderful time so far, that you'll stay all day long and enjoy the activities. Remember, there's much going on up and down the street here between Olive and City. As I'm Don Baum for the president of the Huntington Beach Coordinating Council, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the uh, citywide festival that's being held today here on Main Street. The Coordinating Council is an organization in Huntington Beach consisting of all of the various uh, service and charitable clubs and organizations. Uh, we meet monthly at Murdy Park. We have traditionally, for the past six years, co-sponsored this citywide festival with the city of Huntington Beach. Uh, normally it's been held in Murdy Park. This year we've tried a new concept with the cooperation of the city of Huntington Beach by the closure of two blocks of Main Street for the purpose of testing out a mall concept that the city is experimenting with at this time. The festival chairman is Bill Vance and the festival committee of course consists of representatives of all of these various organizations. We hope everybody here has an excellent time today. This is a test for the downtown merchant skill to see what kind of an area this can create to see whether we have a viable business complex here. Uh, the VTN plan now in production for redevelopment of the downtown area prompted this mall development. Hopefully uh, with our 10-day mall festival that we're planning that this will show that this is a very strong business economic area and maybe the street will be able to remain closed for a uh, permanent basis as the redevelopment goes through allowing sidewalk cafes, uh, walk-in businesses, and all kinds of different display in the downtown area. Thank you, Bob. I'm Bill Vance, I'm the chairman of the 1975 Huntington Beach Coordinating Council City Festival. The uh, City Festival is a joint effort between the city of Huntington Beach. It's twofold in purpose, the first being to experiment with the downtown mall concept to see if it's going to be a successful operation. The downtown area will re remain closed for 10 days following the festival, at which time various types of street vendors will occupy the area and hawk their wares. Today's festival is arranged primarily by the Huntington Beach Coordinating Council with various members of city staff. Voluntary Action Council from the City of Huntington Beach. We have over 100 organizations represented here today, including a number of city departments. We expect uh, probably somewhere in excess of 10,000 to be in attendance, and we owe a lot of thanks to a number of city organizations, Public Works, Parks and Recreation, Harbors and Beaches Department, Police Department, the Fire Department have also been active in helping us set up, also the Voluntary Action Center. 
Yeah. 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 of Huntington Beach of the Chamber of Commerce and we are having a ball here today. We have yeah. sold so many hot dogs with our free balloon, a free balloon, right? Well, they don't have a business license, Bill. Huh? <laughs> and this is, I'd like to introduce our mayor. How do you do? <laughs> this is too much. And, and our councilman. Right. These ladies are right on, though. <laughs> Council on Aging from Huntington Beach. We are called the Huntington Beach Council on Aging. My official action of the Huntington Beach City Council, taken January 24, 1974, the Huntington Beach Council on Aging has been designated the official arm of the city for the purpose of carrying out the objectives on behalf of each and every senior citizen of Huntington Beach. The Huntington Beach JCs is a service community to the service to the city of Huntington Beach here. We're all ages 36 to 18, and we uh, we do many services for the community of Huntington Beach. We run the annual Fourth of July parade for the city of Huntington Beach. We also run many service projects for the com community. We run Orange Crate, Junior Miss, and a few other projects. We've been doing this for about four years and helping to bring in a little bit of extra revenue for the Playhouse, for the Encore Group, and they just sponsor different uh, functions down at the Playhouse and, and help it out. And uh, we've had a lot of fun doing this, and I seem to have enjoyed it very well. Would you like to see how it's coming out? Mm-hmm. Getting kind of interested, huh? Yeah, I want to see what it looks like. All right. Uh, Susan Allen and Linda Troop. And Susan and Linda operate the Oakview Recreation Center. That's a joint project of the city, and Manpower is helping fund it to provide opportunities for children in the neighborhood of the Oakview community. The Unicorn Rugby Club of Huntington Beach was formed in 1970. We are now five years old. In the last five years, we've done more for rugby, I think, in Southern California than any other club. Uh, we've toured uh, Wales in 1972, which you can see the picture behind here. Uh, we spent three weeks in Wales and England. Uh, next year, 1976, we're planning another tour back to, back to Wales. This booth here today, uh, we'd like to thank the city for. Uh, we're having a dime fishing contest. If you get a dime in the glass, you win. Hello. We represent the Daughters of the American Revolution. This is the Clara Barton chapter. Huntington Beach. We were organized here in Huntington Beach last year. We have 26 members. We promote patriotism in the schools and education, history, etc. Thank you. My name is Sherry. Her name is Beth. Her name is Kathy. Her name is Nevelyn. And her name is Julie. I'm in the Girl Scouts. Where's that? We're the Animal Assistance League and we help the unwanted animals of Orange County. 
We have um, a desk at the Huntington Beach Shelter where we work on lost and found and adoptions. We like to tell people about the need for spaying and neutering their animals to help offset the tragic overpopulation. <laughs> Beach for our city festival, May 17th, 1975. We welcome you here. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as you know, I, I arrived this morning to present to the mayor of Huntington Beach, Mrs. Norma Gibbs, a medal of Paris, which was given by the president of the municipal council of Paris to uh, be associated with the bicentennial ceremonies taking place in Huntington Beach. And I was very pleased to be here this morning and to see this magnificent exhibit and parade. Hi, I'm Prim Shea talking to you today from my st outside of the front of my store, the Nevada Silver Company from downtown Huntington Beach where today's city festival is being held. There's a great deal of excitement here today because uh, we feel as though the downtown has finally come alive again. The merchants that are in the street are redoing their stores, they're redoing their windows, there's a new spirit. We really feel as though something can be accomplished here. It is an extremely viable commercial area. We moved in here about two weeks ago. We're doing very, very well. And the people are excited that we're here with Indian jewelry and an art gallery. And all the stores just seem to have a new lease on life. They're very uh, hopeful that the city will cooperate and everyone will get behind our move to do something down here because it's a very lovely area in Southern California. And the people of this town could be very, very proud of their downtown Huntington Beach. And we're uh, featuring this. this is Tom Lawrence reporting from you at the Main Street Festival in Huntington Beach. And uh, it looks like a good day out here. The sun's great. Everything's happening fine. We're affiliated with the Ware Surfboards. It's a new surfboard shop located in Huntington Beach at 112 and a half Main Street. And it uh, looks like we're getting into some good things. The music's going on. Uh, we have a festival t-shirt here we're uh, featuring this year with the festival. It looks like everything's real nice. Uh, my partner over here, Jim Wade, might like to say a few things to the people out there to uh, enforce the idea that the Main Street Festival is probably a, going to be a good thing to come. Howdy. Well, that's all Huntington Beach needs is another surfboard shop. But there again, I think we can produce a good quality surfboard and hope to attract more people that's right. from all different areas to this city. That's right. 